How's it chaps? In this video, we are unboxing and having a look at a new Mitutoya test indicator. Now, if you are not sure what a test indicator is, it's basically a precision tool that makes really small and accurate measurements or comparisons. We're also gonna have a look at some of its specs and features. How much are these things? Fairly expensive, uh, around two and a half to 3,000 Rand here in South Africa, or in real money terms, about $140 on Amazon. And for your guys' convenience, I have left a link in the description uh, if you just wanna go and confirm that price also, it's very important before you buy these types of things, go and read the reviews um, about people that have already purchased them. If you like the video, please, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Also, leave us a comment and a sub to the channel would be really nice. Guys, welcome back to the Burden Builds Garage. Let's get started. So this is the Mitutoya lever type dial test indicator and the model number is 513-404-10T and it's got a measuring range of 0.8 millimeters and the dial is graduated in 0.01 millimeter increments. It also comes with a certificate of inspection and an interesting point about this late in the video so stick around. We've also got some precautionary instructions included and of course a basic user guide. And last but not least, it also comes with a glossary for all of you that aren't interested. This kit comes with three styli, one with a one millimeter ball end, two millimeter ball end, and a three millimeter ball end. It also comes with two stems with a standard dovetail mount. This is the four millimeter diameter stem, and this is the eight millimeter diameter stem, and of course, a small locking nut. Moving on, this is the swivel clamp and holding bar, and this is used to mount your indicator to a stand, a base, a tool post, or whatever you want to mount it to. And it feels like it is very well made, solid construction, and I'm pretty much happy with it. And of course, the most important piece is the indicator. First up, it's got a glare-free flat crystal face which supposedly allows the user to read the graduations more easily. Yeah, we'll have to see about that. And the fit and finish is very good, also a solid feeling construction. This is exactly what you would expect from a Mitutoya instrument. It's got three dovetail mounting points, one on the backside, one on the end, and the third is between the dial and the stylus. There is an o-ring seal on the bezel and this provides a nice smooth rotation and also prevents dust and oil from penetrating the dial face. Of course we'll have to see how this holds up. Installing the swivel clamp and holding bar is also fairly simple. All we need to do is loosen the thumb nut, slip on the dovetail side, slip on the holding bar, tighten up the whole lot and that is it. Also, it has a small QR code printed on the dial face. Now, this is what I was referring to earlier. This enables the inspection certificate to be accurately matched to your specific test indicator. There's also a whole bunch of other small features and improvements over previous models. And in case you guys are interested, there is a link to a PDF bulletin in the description. And this bulletin I got directly off the Mitutoya website. And if you want to see an example of how these test indicators can be used, a couple of videos ago, I bought a new chuck and installed it on my drill press and I wanted to measure the run out to see how accurate it was. If you guys missed that, I will put a link in the description, so check that out. I'll also put a card up on screen depending on what uh, device you are watching on and might come up or not, but the link is in the description. Also guys, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. It really does help me out on the channel. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Cheers.